reunited, 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 reunited with the Vimero 14s. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, reunited with the Vimero 14s. Bum, 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 bum. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. From the shelf saying you will be the perfect gift for my niece Marie away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below oh my goodness look how beautiful that is wow Chicken pot pie, butter my bread, butter my bread, butter my Vimero 14s. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, they are back on track. <sighs> They're back. Okay, if you're new, in the last 10 days, a new subscriber, basically my shoes were stolen about two weeks ago approximately. These Vimero 14s, they were stolen out of some bushes that I had hid them in in downtown Denver because I was doing a workout and anyway, it's a long story, but I gotta give a shout out to Kip in New York for organizing a GoFundMe campaign to get a new pair of Vermeero 14s for $150. I think they're like right around $150, but the beautiful thing is that you guys were so generous that we went over $150 and it allowed me to, where is it? Oh, I think it's inside. It allowed me to get, in addition to the Vermeero 14s, a $50 gift card to Running Warehouse Thank you, and basically, just so you know, I'm gonna use that $50 gift card to purchase a, l a few more items that focus on winter running gear, like these gloves. And these gloves are doing well, but I wanna continue to buy a few more things with that $50 that you guys were so generous to give to Kip, who gave to me through the gift card. It's amazing, and what I'm gonna do is a lot of questions are coming in through the comments about running in the winter time, the struggles of getting out the door when it's cold, the lack of motivation sometimes to get out the door. Well, I can tell you that the old adage is kind of true. There's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. I'm a little bit in that camp. The older I get, the more wise I get about dressing correctly for the weather. It makes sense. And especially for runners, we love running when we don't run. Yeah, we can kind of get the winter blues, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. So I'm grateful, beyond grateful for these Vermeero 14s. And now let's put miles in them so I can get you that full review. Stay tuned. Let me get about 50 to 60 miles in the shoes and I'll get you a full review. And I'll get you a full, my all of my thoughts about the correct and proper winter running gear like this jacket. I am in love with this jacket, but I wanna get a few more miles, a few more runs in it before I give you my thoughts. So stay tuned for that. And now let's talk about the keyword of the day. Mm, 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 mm. Kuzelig. Well, that's how we say it in America. Kuzelig, but it's actually pronounced, hold on, hold on. It's actually pronounced Kuseli. Kuseli. Yes, and it's Norwegian, or yeah, I guess that's what the language you would say, Nor Nor Norwegian in Norway. It's Kuseli, and what does Kuseli mean? Cozy. Cozy. The art of creating a cozy 
atmosphere. And so I want to read a comment real quick that came in today and it connects to this topic of cold weather gear and dealing with winter conditions as runners. Here we go from Leo Borello. He said this, Hey Seth, stumbled upon your channel about three months ago whilst I was looking up how to get into running. Really love your content and been a subscriber since. I'm a 15 year old male who got into running about three months ago with the goal of running a sub 20 minute 5k. A month and a half after starting, I ran a 1952, that's amazing, and two weeks later a 1936. Congrats. Felt great and super happy until the cold weather, rain and snow happened. I seem to have lost so much motivation because of this weather. Keep in mind, I start school at 8 a.m. and finish at 5 to 6 p.m. depending on the day, so it's dark by the time I get home. Not only that, but I seem to have lost some speed. Is this normal? It's so frustrating. Seth, how do you manage to keep motivated during winter? Keep up the videos, they're great. Leo Borello, thank you for that comment, and it connects direct, I, I read that today because it connects directly to the topic of how do we runners deal with the winter blues with the dark, cold, long days, you know, where it's just dark. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm sorry, like, I know it's like summer down there, it's, or it's turning into summer, so enjoy it. But you deal with winter as well, it's just a different time of the calendar. And Leo, it is totally normal to be a little slower in the winter months. In fact, in fact, and this goes out to all the runners, I'm going to talk about this more soon, but I would make the argument that it's a good thing to not be fast in the winter months. Now listen, if you're doing indoor track, that's great. Yes, you can get fast for a couple of those races in January and February, but listen, the prime running for us runners, as you know, is spring and summer, and yes, fall. And so don't feel like you need to be at your peak level of fitness through the winter months. In fact, I don't even think the human body is designed to be at that level year round. It's not, it's not a good thing. You wanna have peaks and valley in your training. I'll get to that more at another video. And back to the key word of the day, kusali, kusali. How do you, and if you're from Norway, correct me if I'm, if I'm not saying this correctly, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Basically, I believe the other Scandinavian countries also do this, but it, it comes from Norway. And it is the, uh, the art, I'll just, I'll use that term loosely, but the art of creating a cozy atmosphere, specifically in your home where you live. Uh, and the long winter months in the Scandinavian countries, probably, you know, Scotland, of course, as well, like Northern Scotland and Northern Canada and a lot of different, you know, Northern Russia, like the, the sun does not come up, does not come out for very long uh, during the day, during the winter months. And so what they do to cope with these uh, challenging uh, elements, you know, they, there's it's just cold out, it's freezing. And running in these elements can be a challenge. And so what they do is they really try to create this cozy atmosphere in their homes. How do they do that? Candles, warm blankets, hot tea, ambient music, um, and of course, gathering together in, in with your friends and your loved ones, like creating that cozy opportunity to talk with others in uh, in the elements when it's freezing outside and there's a blizzard outside. You're you're inside in this cozy atmosphere. A little bit. And how does that connect mm -hmm. to us as runners? As runners, and Leo, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to everybody else that struggles to get out the door. This is how I get out the door. I look at the opportunity of running outside in the elements as the as an opportunity to challenge myself, to get uncomfortable, and you have to make that mental shift in your brain from woe is me to let's basically defeat the cold through good outerwear, through mental toughness, and yes, and yes, through the art of kuzali, kuzali. And why? how does that connect in? Basically, when you go out for a 45 minute run in the freezing temperatures, when it's, you know, the snow is flying sideways or it's just frigid out, you know, you know, really windy. And you know though, when your run is done, and this is the key, when you're coming back to your house, you've got your tea kettle ready to go, you've got your candles ready to be lit, You've got a warm blanket to get under and let your muscles start to relax after the physical exertion. You basically, before you leave the house, you have everything kind of ready 
so that as soon as you get back and you are freezing, hopefully your fingers are not freezing, but they might be. They might be. Your nose might be frozen. Like there's different there's different situations that can happen in winter running. But if you're if you arrive back at your home and your home is ready for Kuzali and creating that cozy atmosphere, it is so much easier to get out the door because literally like literally within 2 minutes of getting home, you can be warm again. Uh, cozy again and like relaxing again and Leo and everybody else this is where we can learn from each other down in the comments through the question of the day about how this is it how do you overcome the challenges of getting out the front door to get your run in through the long cold winter months what's your strategy what do you do like what do you what tips do you have for everybody and it could be so, there's so many different ways to answer that question and so i'm going to stop there and just let you answer thank you so much and leo great question and guess what i'm going to be talking a lot more about outerwear about running running gear i'm going to film in the snow testing this gear out in the elements but i want a good solid snowstorm i digress i love you Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to go into Kuzelig, Kuzelig and rest and relax. Let the body rest after, even though today was an easy day, but just let the body rest and recover and enter in to Kuzelig. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Cheers.